John, Greg, how you doing out there? Yeah, guys, so at 2.24, the National Branch of Theta Tau released a Facebook statement about the events that took place right behind me at the Theta Tau chapter of Syracuse University. Now, the statement says that they have no tolerance for the actions that happened. However, they did make sure to say that it was not a hazing-related incident. Instead, they wanted to say that it was a parody skit intended to make fun of another brother in the, in the class. Now, despite it being a skit, they said that they, it is no excuse for the events that took place and you know, they were really sorry about it all and they do not tolerate that type of behavior. So Greg, being that Theta Tau is an engineering fraternity, how has the engineering school been handling the situation? Yeah, so at 4.30 on Thursday, the school announced that from fr on Friday from 12 to 2, classes would be canceled in the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Now, that was so that students could attend a mandatory forum the following day in the dining in dining hall. Now at this forum several things would be discussed including the steps moving forward and the Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science actually committed to students six, six steps. Now on your screen you can probably see that you know many of these focused on promoting diversity training and trying to uh, hire a more representative faculty. Now on Wednesday at two, the 2.30 event at Hendricks Chapel, the st many students spoke about, out about how they don't feel represented in the current faculty administration at Syracuse University. So that was something that the Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science really focused on in her commitment to the students. Now later at five o'clock, U100 held a meeting to discuss uh, their plans for admitted students day, which would happen on Friday, that being yesterday. Now they gave tour guides a brief rundown of all the events that took place as well as some questions that might come up, whether it be in information sessions or tours that took place throughout the day. Now, if something like that did come up, they would talk about it as a skit instead of, instead of um, you know, a hazing, anything hazing related. And they also would talk about how the university handled the situation, whether it be the Greek life audit that James Franco mentioned on Wednesday or, you know, uh, Theta Tau already being suspended and whatnot. And then to round out Thursday's coverage, at 6.10, Chancellor Kent Severud sent out an email to the campus community and he called the behavior, quote, a painful wake-up call. He also called for a top-to-bottom review of all Greek life that takes place here on campus and also discussed that there will be mandatory training moving forward of, for faculty as well as students to promote diversity here on campus and make sure that everyone feels welcome in the Syracuse campus community. For, with that, I'm Greg Bradbury reporting live outside of Theta Tau chapter here at Syracuse University. Back to you guys.